Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Love Sims here, and we are back for a new episode in my current save file series. <laughs> it has been so long since I last showcased a lot in my founder save file, and that's because Again, I'm typically working on anywhere from three to five save files at one time. And um, sometimes I have builder's block. I'm not going to lie, especially when it comes to certain save files. I know what I want. I know what it's for. And this particular save file, I really want to come hard. Like some of my other ones, I mean, I try to do my best in every build that I do and every save that I do, but I have a specific idea coming into this one and I really wanted to execute it so I tend to sometimes build something demolish it and start all over or I have a concept for the entire neighborhood and then I go with something else so I'm gonna go ahead this one I'm actually proud of it is up on the gallery so you can download this one um, I do have a tenant already living here she looks a hot mess down here because she went sun tanning and so she doesn't look so hot um, she's getting ready to go to her audition, her very first audition. She wants to be um, a master actress. Her name is Zara Hedrick. So you guys will get a, a video on her as well because she is one of our founding Sims here in Del Sol Valley. But I don't know if she's going to be the only person in the household or if I'm going to add other Sims here. But this is her apartment complex. I'm going to go into... Um, build mode real quick so I can get the name of them because I completely forget I built this a while back but this is the Paradise Palms apartment um, <laughs> and I got it as a matter of fact let me see if I can come up if I could tell y'all the story behind it okay so it just says with a name like Paradise Palms apartments you thought you scored a nice affordable apartment but what you really got was an old motel turned apartment this lot includes six studio apartments on-site laundry facility and a sparkling blue pool what more could you ask for cheap rent you say we've got you covered there too stop by our office today and move in tonight built by me etc i see quite a few typos but we're gonna just pretend like we don't see them y'all know what i meant um but yeah let's go ahead and go into this thing i guess i'll just go on build mode because i really like the way that this looks um in the middle of the day like look at it it looks so good it looks you know crisp and vibrant and i'm just i love it i love it so i really wanted this neighborhood to kind of be affordable housing and I wanted to do apartments, but I knew I wanted something that was even more affordable. So I do have some apartments that are going to go over here that are going to be more family oriented. So as you can see, I've started on it. I haven't completed it at all. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got the general concept but that's those I haven't touched them in a very long time and it's because originally I had this is kind of like a park and I had a pool here and then this was a another type of a park but I decided I wanted to kind of focus on um I guess quantity when it comes to this area so I wanted to fit in as many sims as possible but still have some things for you to do. So this particular lot, um, I like I said, there are six units. There's three in each side. And I figured you could have six Del Sol Valley hopefuls um, who move into these apartments and they all become friends and they host parties here and, you know, relationships can develop here and things like that. Um, so that gives that's here and then there's even a spot I thought I had a spot where they could grill I don't think I added that in but there was like a little place over here where they there was like a picnic table and a grill so I might have to add that back and re-upload but let's go ahead and look in her apartment or let me show y'all what it looks like from this view so you get a better idea um, so it literally legit looks like a, a, a motel. It's not even a hotel. It's a motel. But this is her apartment. Um, they all have the little galley kitchens. 
Um, so when you get it, you will get her apartment with it. I haven't decided on if I'm going to furnish any of the other apartments or if I'm going to leave that for y'all. I know for my save file, I'll probably have a few of them um, furnished. But yeah, I wanted everything to be playable. And I do play on a laptop, so I can't have too many items on one lot, lap, on one lot where it will um, slow my game down. But this is her place. She's into like blues and yellows and kind of out there sort of things so we've got the leopard print mixed in and then whatever this is supposed to be I just thought it was cool and it looked like something she would have and it also looked like something that would fit in a Del Sol Valley apartment I think it looks really cute for a sim of her um from her background and like the kind of things that she's into as you can see she does have a what is this the video station or whatever it is where she creates videos so she does like to do that as well she has a channel as well she's just all about being in front of the cameras and then this is her little bathroom with the little cheapo shower and the little light bulb hanging from a string I mean this place is not popping you know it's not it's it's great that the people who live here I imagine love that the rent is cheap and it is pretty spacious for you know the amount of rent that you pay but like the plumbing isn't a one the lighting isn't that great the tile definitely needs to be replaced the walls could stand to be painted you know that sort of thing and then there's just the fact that it was once a motel so I put a couple vending machines out here just you know I felt like that's something that you'd see at a motel they do have a pool. That's probably the selling point for a lot of people who come here. Um, and I kind of went with more of a retro theme with these soft pastel lounge chairs and the pastel um, lounger for the for the pool. We've got the flamingo outside of the the uh, service office here. I just really like it. I think it's nice. I would actually like to live here. <laughs> If I'm being honest, like if I was going to be in Del Sol and I was looking for a place, this I would I would live here, um, especially if the rent was right. Excuse me, guys, because my mouse has been giving me trouble. But this is what the office looks like when you come in to inquire about um, openings or anything else of that nature. But it's just a little bathroom here, dirty floors, another vending machine area. Um, the front desk where you used to would check in, but now it's kind of just a place to kind of fill out the application and stuff like that. And then this is the um, landlord's office. And then we have the um, on-site laundry facility that we made a big deal about in our little clipping advertisement and then the little TV in here and everything. So it's a cool place to come do laundry. I can imagine having striking up a conversation in here while you're waiting on your clothes to dry or while you're folding clothes, you know, that sort of thing. And then the other side is just unfurnished. So yeah, you do get a little closet when you come in and then that's it um real short tour I think I'll go over there is another lot that I want to show you guys that I was thinking about placing here um not in this place that's gonna stay but in this particular area here I'll show that to you guys and see what you think see if you think I should keep this set of apartments or if you think I should put um the park Thing there so give me just one second while I switch over all right guys so this is it this was originally a pool so just forgive that name that valley pool name this is actually a park I can't remember what I named it but I thought it would look nice across from um, the Paradise Palms apartments. I just thought it would be cool to kind of walk over from your apartment and have this park to come to. So basically it's meant to be a court, like just a basketball court. You can do some painting here if you, um, use this graffiti mural thing here. And then when you come to the back, I just set up this stage because, not necessarily Coachella, but I thought it would be really nice to have like different types of festivals here. Um, it just seemed, it seemed like a nice, uh, 
place to put it kind of in this area where maybe people are used to hearing loud music at night or the, it's a community type of build, a community type of space. Like everyone comes to these festivals. And if you have musicians or people who are trying to be upcoming like DJs or anything like that, you they could maybe do shows here. Um, it could be where they get their start. Or you could even have like specialty, like big time people come and perform here. Um, I just set up some picnic tables. We've got some restrooms on either side. I think it's the same thing on both sides. Yeah. And then just this little dance floor uh, with the cardboard boxes because we wouldn't have anything fancy. But, you know, when there's not concerts, I imagine that like up and coming dancers maybe come out here. This is where they get their big break or whatever. I just I don't know. It's just the vibe that I would I was feeling as I was building it but that's this part let me know what you guys think I feel like I really like it but I wanted to have another apartment place I just wasn't sure especially since there's this park over here um for kids I just thought that the apartments would be nice because the kids don't really have a place to play but they can easily walk over here to this park so logistically, the apartments would work and make sense. And then, but if you look at the surrounding houses, it would make sense for this park to be here as well, because anyone from these houses could come to this park and, or this court or whatever and play basketball and see a show, you know, and then I've got this house, but I was thinking about possibly making this like an actual community pool, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it all residential and keep this house here and then leave the apartments here and have the Paradise Palms apartments? Or should I just have the Paradise Palms apartments, this park, and then a pool over here? Let me know what you guys think. But that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And if you did subscribe today, thank you so much for doing so. Please be sure that notifications are turned on so that you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, guys, bye.